Hi. Hi. Oh, come in. Come in. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. I was just putting Emma down for a nap. Oh, it's okay. Time to Good. sleep now. Is, is Patrick anywhere? Uh, he, he had to go out. He, he should be back soon. Oh, is he at the hospital? No. He went to scatter Robin's ashes with Jake. I'm so sorry. This is tragic. It's been a year. I know. Does it get any easier? No. People ask me how I'm doing. I don't know what to say. I mean, do I tell them that the grief is so intense that it's physical? Yeah, sometimes it's just better that they don't know. I would never wish this pain on anyone. I thought that you were very generous. <laughs> you know, with Luke at Jake's. I mean, at, um, what's it called? The floating room. <laughs> floating room, yeah. And before, before Jake died, I used to go there with my girlfriends after work. Mm -hmm. And I never really thought about the name. And then after my little boy was gone, Every time I'd pass that damn sign. But everything reminds me of him. Every room in my house, every, just the daycare, the hospital, everything. Yeah. So, how do you do it? Do what exactly? Well, everything, you know, get up in the morning, go to work, uh, how do you live your life? The first month it was a blur. Yeah. People would come by and, you know, they want to keep me company. They'd bring me food. And then it just kind of drops off. Yeah. Because for them, their mourning period is over. Yeah. And for me, I just try to put one foot in front of the other and wonder how am I going to keep going? Well, you did, you did. I mean, you to. are, you are. I had to. I have Cameron and Aiden. Yeah. Uh, that's what I kind of feel like about Emma. You know that I have to sort of be there for her just to be a presence. Yeah. Now then, you know, her mom's gone. If Robert was here. In the letter Luke read at the service, he had mentioned that Robert was on a mission? Yes, I know, but really, Elizabeth, what mission is more important than his daughter's funeral? Why, well, I assume it was just too painful for him and that he found a reason not to be there. Yeah, but apparently it was important that he left when he did, but I agree with you. I just think that it was just too difficult for him to be there. You know, Robert's a man of action. He thinks that if he hadn't been out there in the world, saving other people, he could have been here to save Robin. But you know, Patrick was right there. I mean, those doors closed automatically. There was no way he I get that intellectually. In. I do. But in my heart, I feel exactly the same way as Robin. I was there at the hospital. Why didn't I go and investigate? Maybe I could have gotten Robin out. You just want to believe that you could have saved her. Yes, I do. Our whole lives, Robin and I, we've done the impossible. You know, we are highly trained. We have been around the world on hundreds of missions. So what good is all that experience, all that skill, if you can't even save your own daughter? Anna, it was a random accident. I, I, I'm really trying to accept that, but it would be so much easier for me if Robin was just locked away in a room somewhere and I could break down the door and rescue her. Changed for so many years. And, and it was really Robin that, that kind of got us to the point where we could even be in the same room with each other. Mm. And, and, and appreciate the fact that we were parents and, you know, grandparents. So now, I just... You know, people think that the loss of a child will always bring the parents back together. Mm. But so often it just drives them farther apart. Luke told me that Lucky's living in Ireland now. Yeah. He's happier there. Yeah. As much as I fought it, I think the distance is a good thing. You know, I, I tried really hard to hold on to him, but it just hurt us both. And now I, I, I'm starting to let go and open myself up to new possibilities. Oh, wow. Is there anybody, or...? <laughs> what? Huh? At the hospital benefit. 
met and this other guy both invited me and it had been such a long time since I'd been asked out on a date. And then all of a sudden I had two guys ask me at once. <laughs> well, that's encouraging. <laughs> kind of, except Matt's together with Maxie and, and the other guys. I, 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 what? Well, I think we might just be friends. Just be friends? He asked me out on a date and he didn't show up. Huh. Well, that's... But still, there's something... Well, you like him. I find he's crossing my mind when I least expect it. That's cool. What's his name? I mean, if you don't mind me asking. Ewan. Ewan Keenan. Hey. I didn't know you were going to be here. Elizabeth told me where you went. Um... How was it? Just uh, brought her to the the uh, home that we were going to build. Yeah. I think that was a very good choice. Yeah. I think that that's where Robin would, you know. How's Emma? She's good. I have to get back to work. I left some food for you in the fridge. OK. I, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. I have to do Emma's hair.